As workers across the world mark today as the International Workers' Day, the painful experience of pensioners in Nigeria remain a point of reference. The trauma untold hardship they are subjected to with the non-payment of their pensions and benefits call for a serious concern. And now Clement Obosi joins us via phone to discuss more. Good afternoon, Mr. Obosi. Yes, I can hear you clearly. Great. You have been an advocate for the pensioners. How would you describe their plight? What are you hearing? What are the people saying? Where are they at? Could you repeat your question? I said you have been an advocate for pensioners. Yes. Now, what would you say is their position as at today? Where are they? What is going on for them? What are you hearing them say? I'm hearing them saying the labors of our heroes past are in vain. We are, so, I mean, we are suffering terribly. What we are going through is hunger virus, which is even worse than the coronavirus that people are shouting about. People are dying daily, instrumentally, in this country. Imagine you, when you retire after 35 solid years, or working to the age of 60, they now begin to give you 25% of what you used to earn. And they say they keep 75% somewhere for you. And every month, they are giving you, feeding you like a child. No, so they are feeding you like a baby. No bank will give you any loan. NHS does not cover you uh, when, when you are sick on your own. For example, NIC tells you, uh, NHS tells you that you must pay 15000 per person. So if you have about four children now, plus yourself, it means you pay 15000 for each of you. Imagine somebody is signing as an assistant director, now earning 40000 Imagine the, uh, the directors and deputy directors earning 40000 50, 50, maximum. So does that suggest that there is no, there is no benchmark against which you know, uh, these uh, entitlements are based on? Yes, there is a criteria that we, on which they are based on. But the issue now is basically what the pension, uh, the pension PFAs will tell you is that what they are paying you is based on your contributions while you were in service with the vis-a-vis -vis the one the government contributed, as well as the profits they were able to accrue for you while you were in service. What the law says is that we should be able to get at least half of what we were earning when we were working. How the government works that out is their own arrangement. First of all, even when you retire, for over 13 months, you will not even receive a dime. How do you expect us to survive? Uh, General Malu did something for his uh, people when he was alive, and I, I, I credit him for that. He said, look, these are people who have been trained, armed. And he insisted that they should be paid every month until they are ready with their entitlement. They should continue to pay them until they are ready with their entitlement. That will at least ease their pain. For over, when you retire, even when you are serving, your salary is not even enough to carry you for the next two weeks. You now retire, you no longer get anything for over 15 months. If you are a tenant, your landlord has no choice than to eject you. Your children will be ejected from the schools. Mr. Obosi, from history, Mr. Obosi, uh, from history, we, we notice and we, we, we do see also that it's always difficult uh, for pensioners to claim their entitlements when it comes to that part, when they have to come for, you know, their entitlements. Should the government yes. be listening now to you? What would be the suggestion on how best to handle it, how best to make the process easy and make it accessible to pensioners to get all that is due them? Yes. Okay, let me just say this for free. The, the, one of the, the basic things is that the government knows that you are going to retire over a year ahead. Even the PENCOM the staff, they ensure that they payroll you, the, I mean, they do take all your uh, details a year before you retire. You understand? Before you retire, at least six months, the government cannot pretend not to be aware. You understand? By the time I retired, for example, December 9, 2014, on, on that night, when they paid me my salary, they paid me from just January, uh, December 1st to 9th. They paid me 39000 You understand me? For that month. 
starts to tell you that they know what they're doing. They, they stop your payment immediately. The IPPIS something stops it immediately. So before you could do that kind of thing, why don't you have an arrangement? The government should have an arrangement where you, by the time you are leaving, your entitlement should be ready for you. It shouldn't be something that will be bargained. That will be begging like uh, Julius Vega. We don't need that kind of thing. After serving this nation for 35 years, you wake up very early, you close very late for 35 years. You, they say, the government says you cannot do any other job except their own job. You don't even have time for yourself. You now retire into penury. You know, unfortunately, I'm talking of even the real core public servants. You understand me? And then at the end of the month, an assistant director in the proper quality service gets about eight million. Then the one in central bank gets one hundred and fifty million. How rational is that? You understand me? So what I'm saying is, let them let them arrange the money. Once you are retiring, they tell you, let me see. Within the next, by the time you are retiring, your money should be waiting for you in your account. You understand? And this issue of uh, this thing, they should give people a third choice. You know, if you want, if you want uh, to take away your money, go ahead. Some people will not be telling you they don't want you to marry a second wife or to lose your money. I agree that there are some people who will lose their money, no matter what you do, even if you give them 10 million before the end of the month, it's all over. But what, that's not the issue. What I, we're saying is one, they should take deliberate this charge. Make sure that as you are retiring, you don't retire to penury. Mm. First of all, even the, the, the salary this thing has to be improved. That one is another one. All right, you thank understand? you so very much, Mr. Obosi. This, unfortunately, this is all that we can take. Thank you for your insights there. Okay.